Hi, it's Brad. I'm back making another video for you. We just brought in our space needle from outside. And if you're tracking what we're doing and why we're doing a space needle, you can find our other our other video. Uh, let's see, space needle step one, and we'll make a step two. But what I wanted to show you, what we did this weekend, so you can you can see our fan operation whenever we're bending and molding and gluing. We set it here in front of the fan. So I'm going to turn that off or unplug it. Just turn it off. And here's a, a group of things that we're doing. So this piece here is the start of a shelf bracket. So we have a tile that we're going to put on top. Get the other one out for you. So two of these, let's see here, the short, okay. So we're gonna, we have a tile we bought at Home Depot and we're gonna glue it on top here. We're gonna cut it right where the tile ends and then down here. And we're also going to probably put a t another tongue depressor. That's what these are probably put the tongue depressor along here as well to make a little wall shelf. Here is another one that uh, once again we don't like these little blue clamps. They're you know they clamp well however they bite into the wood. I don't know if you can see that but they bite into the wood. This particular one this is another shelf bracket we uh, the first attempt to do the bend here made a little splinter so we're making kind of a, a support piece for that this one bent well uh, the other one didn't bend quite as well so we made a uh, support uh, kind of a, a cast for it but then uh, this will also be cut to the length of a tile and glued a tile to that to make two tile supports. Oops, sorry. This is a, a shape we're designing for the top of the space needle. So in this particular piece, there's, two, there's a piece of plastic. We wanted that shape. We soaked and bent two tongue depressors around that shape. And we get more tops. Actually, it'll go like this. And this will be the shape of the top of the space needle. This little contraption here, we want it to bend this uh, dowel to create the top of our little flowery glass piece, whatever we want to call that. Excuse me. Here's some more bends that we did. We're creating a, see, like that, it comes right off. Use the Husky ones, you can find it at Home Depot. Or from our site and link to Home Depot. Here's another shelf support we're making or hanging basket but for it to be strong I'm going to put some pop or, uh, yeah, popsicle sticks across the top and across the bottom here and here's another version of it this particular one it wraps down we glued I'm sorry we bending we're bending some popsicle sticks around the bottom of it and then we're going to come up and create this loop. So this is just a bunch of combinations of things that we we bent. Also cleaned up the shop this weekend. Uh, this is uh, more of the space needle tops that we're bending, yardsticks and such. There's the needle, a lot of plans online. There's a picture of the foundation. But uh, I'll do that, I'll get back to that in a minute on another video. Here's a tip for you. 
So, unfortunately, this is not a perfect science. We're learning about it. So, when you're done with a project, and if you happen to stick that project outside, like just in the garage, this is one of the tests. We have a, we glued some popsicle sticks, craft sticks to a board. We drew that design out on the board, specifically the way it was. Then we placed it in the garage, which is not insulated, but just the moisture from the air over a month's time, it, it uh, absorbed the moisture from the air absorbed into the stick. And it wanted to move, the sticks wanted to move back to their original shape. This was the first test we did. This stick was down there. We left it out out in the garage and these sticks absorb the moisture in the air and then they turn back to the original shape. This particular one here was one with varnish, the other one was without and you can tell they, they actually moved less about half as much but they did still move. They have the, the base of it glued and the top was not and so when you're doing this craft and you're doing it outside and say if your only space is in the garage, your sticks will absorb the air and the moisture and then they're going to want to you know, bend back to their original shape. So you do want to varnish them up real good the best you can and uh, try some shellac which this information can also be found on our tips and tricks craft stick bending DVDs and um, look forward to hearing from you subscribe to us post we'll get some of your stuff on our website as well little army guy anyhow we're having fun see you later bye